Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. We have a new model from Stability AI. This model is a fine tuned of their previous model called Stable LM with the new Zephyr DPO and all the other stuff. The only gripe that I have about this model is this is a non commercial licensed model, which means you cannot use this model for commercial purposes. But nevertheless, this is a really good model. You can use it on local machine. And I'm going to show you everything that I know about this model. Let's get started with the video. First thing is this is a stable LM Zephyr 3 billion parameter model that means it opens up a lot of possibilities to deploy this model on edge devices that's exactly what stability ai has highlighted here that this is a model that can bring powerful llm assistance to edge devices about this model this model weights are available for you to use and this model is coming with a non-commercial license which i honestly do not understand why it is at all and the main thing that you want to know about this model is what is the difference between this model and all the other recent models that are available the first thing is this is a three billion parameter model while the original Zephyr was a 7 billion parameter model and they have basically taken the training pipeline the data sets that they use from the Zephyr data set itself so it uses ultra chat meta math QA evil wizard data set and capybara data set so ultra chat is something that has actually pushed the empty bench benchmarks much farther with uh, Zephyr and they have used all these data sets and also they have done DPO direct preference optimization instead of RLHF reinforcement learning from human feedback. So this is the alignment technique that they have used with ultra feedback data set. So this is ultra chat and this is ultra feedback data set. So now with all these things, what they have managed to achieve is they have managed to achieve improvement in empty bench. That's one thing that um, I would like to also highlight that if you see this table, if you compare Zephyr 3 billion parameter model with the Zephyr 7 billion MPT chat, Falcon Instruct, Llama 2 chat, 40 billion parameter model as well, you could see this scoring high on the empty bench. So basically empty bench is a multi-turn chat, like how better you have conversation. That's what empty bench measures. And uh, I have a feeling, this is my opinion, that this ultra chat actually has pushed the empty bench score while it has not like made huge dents in other benchmarks. So you would see like it has done better on empty bench, but if you see the Alpaca Eval win rate, Llama 2, uh, 70 billion parameter is 92, Zephyr 7 billion parameter is 90, then this is just 76. I wouldn't call this a bad model. I wouldn't say this is a very good model, but I think for 3 billion parameter, I think this is a really good model that we have got like for all the 3 billion parameter, this would be good unless until somebody comes up with new 3 billion again based on the Zephyr 7 billion um, model. So right now a good 3 billion model, but definitely don't go by benchmarks saying that uh, if you see uh, open, um, stability AI has said that some cases uh, they are um, as good as competitive as 70 billion chat. Uh, I mean, that's, that's, that's fine for a PR message, but I don't think that is a reality. I mean, what is good? as good as this as competitive as this i don't think benchmarks can decide this that's what i wanted to mention here now in terms of uh, how you use the model the the model is available on hugging face model hub that means you can just directly go there and then start using it with transformers but what i wanted to do is i wanted to show you with olama so the model has got integrated to, to olama so you can go to olama.ai library and then see the model. If you have not watched my Olama tutorial, I've got two Olama tutorial, one for Olama, the second one for Olama UI. So in this video, we're going to use Olama UI. So I'm going to show you Olama UI, the test that I have done, and also some of the tests that we'll do live. First of all, how do you download the model? If you have got Olama installed, if you have got Olama UI installed, you just go to Olama UI. So this is how you would see, and go to settings. Once you go to settings, go to model, and in the model, you have to just basically paste the same name here, like the stable LM dash Zephyr. That's what you need to paste here. Once you paste here, you can basically download the model. The model will get downloaded. After the model gets downloaded, you can go click here and here you can select the model in itself. So you can select stable LM Zephyr as a model and then you can start chatting with that. So the quick test that I did is the model. Uh, tell me a random fun fact about Roman Empire. It said something. Okay, I was like, okay, fine, cool. It has got some um, Emperor Augustus and all the names. So I was like, okay, maybe it was about Roman Empire. Not a, not a great question. Then I wanted to test it because they said it is good and multi-tone conversation, empty bench. And also I wanted to see how does it do with respect to math, reasoning, you know, a combination of it. So the question I asked is there are three students waiting on a bench. 
one went to see his mom second went to buy two apples how many of them are there remaining so the idea of this question is whenever you introduce more numbers associated with different objects in a large language models prompt the model kind of starts getting messed up like it it gets uh, confused and that's what i wanted to understand here so i have got three students on a bench one went to see the mom the second went to buy two apples 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 two apples so basically i've got like multiple numbers thrown around there and i've got like multiple objects like scattered around there based on the information provided one went to see his mom one student bought two apples so three students minus one went to see his mom minus one bought apple so one student is remaining which is correct answer so i wanted to ask one more follow up question okay if they eat one apple how many are there left so my intention as a human i'm saying if they eat one apple because i'm referring to apple i wanted to say how many apples are there left but instead of calling out or specifically objectively saying i want about apples i just said how many are there left and it assumes once again that i'm asking about student and then it does some useless calculation and it says two students should be there then again i went again and said i asked about apple not about students but i didn't say not about students i just said uh, asked about apple it apologizes for the confusion and still it answers about students so the bottom line is this is a really good model like you see the first one did pretty well i would say but when you have this follow up questions it is kind of um, i think especially with math it's kind of like a little messed up but because of the math data set that they've used I, i guess this model would be like a really good model to run like a proper math model on local local machine so i'm going to click new chart and zephyr 7 billion uh, sorry zephyr stable lm zephyr is selected and this is an old machine not even apple uh, silicon machine and i can go ahead and then ask any question for example write a tweet uh, complaining about stability ai not launching open commercially commercially permissive models okay write a tweet about com- uh, stability ai not launching open commercially permissive models so it's processing it started creating the tweet uh, i think the emoticon rendering is not good on terminal i think it is good extracting user alert, alert stability has once again delayed launching <laughs> okay it gives me steps which is not required because for the tweet i don't need this big okay it it follows the instruction let's try one more thing so i'm going to just say in this case new chart and i'm going to just say uh, help me with a small assignment um, i want to read csv in python and then make a bar chart with that i want to have a title called great chart added to the bar chart so basically i wanted to take a csv use matplotlib or seaborn make a bar chart and then add a title to the bar chart like that's that's one thing that i wanted to see it says uh, it tells me all these things i can do it um a step by step guide of how you can do it first we install pandas and matplotlib very good very good so that's the first thing that i install so it says create a new chart a uh, sorry new script called chart underscore title dot py so here we are importing csv matplotlib dot py plot as plt read the csv quite strange you got to use pandas but that's okay then it takes two values um, and then it starts putting in there it tries to create a bar chart i'm not sure 100% if the chart works but at least like what i can see is it has added plt dot title to add the chart title i still do not remember exactly if it is going to run uh, completely i'm not going to test it out but as you can see this is another easy way to use local model for um, coding and all the other things that you can do i so mostly i'm happy with this model and i'm always happy whenever there is a smaller size model comes in like especially this is a 3 billion parameter model but stability wants to push their subscription service that is going to come up like i think $1 $20 they have a range of things and that is why they did not release this model as an open model and uh, given that they have used a lot of open data set open pre uh, training um, pipeline and uh, op- not pre training open training pipeline from zephyr data sets i was quite um, honestly disappointed at least with this release bigger models they want to make money out of it i can understand but this is a smaller model people like us hobbies will use and they can argue that saying that okay for hobbies it's already available for them to use for research purpose but not for commercial purpose 
i don't know let me know your thoughts where is this uh, where is this all these open companies suddenly changing their stance and then going wherever they want to but nevertheless this is a really good model please try it out free request it you have to see my olama video and olama web ui it's really solid let me know in the comment section what do you feel see you in another video happy prompting